Well, plenty of conversation on our show, I think everywhere, in the Twitter world, the blogosphere, about all these suspensions with the Seahawks, and Bruce Irvin in particular, and what's going on, and the Adderall, and you know the PEDs, and on and off the field, and lots and lots and lots of conversation, which is understandable, but I think unfortunately, that's a distraction, and many times a distraction, and takes you away from the actually the football on the field that I got to see. And we hit on some of that today, and Eric Williams sat in, and we did talk with Steve Rabel, and we did talk about what we saw from a football perspective with those guys out on the field running around and, and trying to execute. And as always, in Pete's system, a lot of competition, a lot of team periods, a lot of one-on-ones. And I'll tell you what stood out, Steve Rabel hit on this as well, and frankly, him and I were on the state sidelines watching a lot of this, was how far along your wide receivers are with your quarterback compared to a year ago. And in particular, a Golden Tate and a Doug Baldwin, and that should not come as a surprise. Why? Well, Golden number one is in a contract year. Number two, some of his teammates who've been in and are in a very similar situation, like a Max Unger and, and a Cam Chancellor this offseason got paid, he hasn't. In a contract year, he's going to do all he can, and rightfully so, to get that next deal. The light bulb went on for him a year ago. His route running, his hands, his competitiveness, and I don't think it's any surprise or coincidence that Browner and Sherman and now Winfield and you, you take that combination to practice and if you don't go out there and you're not sharp you don't have a chance that's benefited Baldwin that's benefited Tate and at least what these eyes saw yesterday out of practice boy they are on a page much further ahead than they were they were a year ago.